Hey guys, welcome. In these next few videos, we'll be looking at the pose copier. So trying to demystify it a little bit, trying to understand how it works, why we're using it, and of course, how to set it up. Um, so one of the first few things I wanted to mention is that the pose copier is actually a script. So it is a script that is already implemented inside of the software. So you can access it from your scripting toolbar. If you don't have it up, you can simply go to the top windows menu right here, go under toolbars and select scripting. This will bring up this little toolbar over here. So we have two buttons over here. We have manage scripts and we have stop script. So we'll only worry about this one right now. Manage script, if we click on it, it allows us to get access to the entire bank of scripts that are implemented inside of the software. This is where you would find as well if you were to create some new scripts and import them in, uh, all the ones that are here. So all the ones starting with TB are scripts that have been created by Toon Boom. So uh, there is quite a few of those. For now, we just want to find the TB pose copier dot JS and we're going to click on it and under functions over here, there will appear a list of scripts. We're going to take TB pose copier and this here is our toolbar. We want to make sure that we slide that over to the toolbar and be able to use it. So we'll just click on the little arrow here to add the script to our toolbar. Once that is done, we can just press OK to close it. And now you'll get this little wheel here implemented inside of your scripting toolbar. If you leave your mouse over it, you'll see what it is. Uh, it can bet and can get a little bit confusing if you have multiple uh, of those inside of your toolbar. So I usually recommend that people keep only the ones that they use um, inside of their projects. So for the post copier, now if I go and open that up, it shows me a little image. Now the only reason why I'm seeing it is because I had a template selected here. Um, post copier, the post copier will work in collaboration with templates. So having the library open, having the script inside the toolbar are two essential things for the post copier to work. Now, as you can see here, I have different sliders that I can use. So I have my first horizontal slider, my second horizontal slider, as well as a vertical one here. So these sliders can actually be used for pretty much anything that you want. Um, basically what the post copier will do is it will access the template and depending on how I set it up, it will give me different poses inside of that template. So for this one here, which is the first one that we'll set up in the next video, uh, we set it up on the head so we can have different head rotation positions. We can have uh, lip sync over here on our second slider. And once we have that, we can really easily just use the different sliders together to get the best result possible and a really easier time and really an easier time overall for creating the posing. Now, once we have those in here, we'll be able to go and paste those results directly inside of our character. Now, if I go and press paste, it's going to tell me that I need to set the default destination layer. Now that can be done really easily. I just need to find the group of my head. So I can do that directly inside of here. My head group is directly over here. I will set that as the default destination layer and this will remain saved inside of my template. So now I can go and paste that particular position onto my character and this will automatically set all the keyframe information, all the drawing information that I had stored inside of my template 
into my new pose here inside of my scene. Now, one thing that's important to know about the pose copier is it's not going to generate any new poses automatically within the pose copier. So unlike the master controller, which can actually uh, interpolate between two poses, the pose copier will not do so. It is mostly, uh, it is for the most part a posing tool. So you'll be able to go over here, go a little bit farther, maybe if you wanted to have uh, the quarter front head looking up in the other direction, from there you could paste it and you would have both of your poses over here as keyframes, um, but it's not going to give you a mid position between these two, for instance. You would have to go and access it from, uh, from creating the, the templates over here. Uh, if you wanted it to be incorporated within the pose copier, you would have to add it in here in the setup as well. So, um, we can start looking into the actual setup of the scene now that you know uh, pretty much how it works. So stay tuned for the next video. We'll look at how to set up the head.